there's been years of anticipation for the return of the Bronco nameplate. However, last year when we were finally introduced to what the new Bronco was going to be, we were given a little something extra. This, the Bronco Sport. But why add a completely new vehicle to the lineup, and why give it the Bronco name? Who is this vehicle for? Well, in this video, we intend to find out. So join us as we take a look around the new Bronco Sport. The Bronco Sport is not a body-on-frame SUV like its big brother, the Bronco. This is a unibody construction. It shares DNA with the Ford Escape, but the Bronco Sport features over 90% unique parts that make it its own vehicle. The Escape used to be a boxy, high-riding compact SUV, and now, as you can see, it is sleek, low-slung, and has soft design features. This is because Ford has done away with its sedans. And this is the natural progression for those customers. The Bronco Sport is the new Escape for those who love the characteristics of the old Escape. Or even an homage to the 80s in the Bronco 2. But looking at the two side by side, I know which one I'd have. The Bronco Sport is first and foremost a handsome SUV. The boxy silhouette has a very masculine feel. The rounded headlamps are a callback to the classic original Bronco. And everyone looking in the rear view will know you are driving a Bronco as it is spelled out right there for you on the grill. Once you are past, the back hatch serves as a reminder as well. The Bronco Sport wears a safari style roof to allow for more headroom for rear passengers as well as raises the cargo area so much that you can even fit two bicycles. The Bronco Sport was designed with off-road prowess in mind. This is why it features best in-segment off-road dimensions. Now at this time, we should mention that there are five unique trim levels to the Bronco Sport. You have the base, the big bend, the outer banks, and this. The most capable off-road is the Badlands. The fifth and final trim is the all-encompassing first edition, which is already sold out, so you'll have a hard time getting your hands on one of those. But the most capable trim, the Badlands, features 8.8 .8 inches of ground clearance, 30.4 inches of approach angle, 20.4 degrees of breakover angle, and 33.1 degrees of departure angle, and a water fording depth of 23.6 inches. The Bronco Sport features best-in-class suspension articulation due to its High Performance Off-Road Stability System, or HOSS. This also means that suspension is optimized to help drivers maintain vehicle control over rugged terrain. Speaking of capability, the Badlands is also available equipped with all-terrain tires, a front 180-degree camera, and front tow hooks designed to Ford truck requirements. All trims receive functional exterior features on the rear liftgate with a flip-up glass that allows for easy entry, and when the liftgate is fully open, adjustable floodlights. Now another unique feature here in the Bronco Sport is the built-in bottle opener. It's a feature that I can only surmise that the designer was a huge fan of bottled sodas. The roof features robust rails with tie-down hooks and roof rack side rails can carry up to 150 pounds of evenly distributed weight without a moonroof and 100 pounds with the moonroof. The Bronco Sports base engine is a 1.5-liter three-cylinder EcoBoost. This engine produces 181 horsepower and 190 pound-feet of torque. And while you may be low on a cylinder count, you never feel as though you are missing any power. Because of the 8-speed automatic transmission, you're always in the meaty part of the power band, giving you plenty of capability and plenty of get-up and go. However, in the Badlands trim, you get a 2.0 liter EcoBoost i4 with 250 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque, paired with a select shift 8-speed automatic transmission that allows you to choose your own gears when the trail dictates. Now towing with the 1.5 will get you 2,000 pounds capability, and with the 2.0 liter, you get an extra 200 pounds of towing capability 
for a total of 2,200 pounds. The Bronco Sport features GOAT modes, which stands for Go Over Any Terrain. You get five modes in all trims, Normal, Sand, Slippery, Sport, and Eco, and with the Badlands you get two additional, Mud Rut and Rock Crawl. The Badlands also features trail control, which is kind of like a cruise control for the off-road. The interior of the Bronco Sport is built tough for your adventures, but built comfortably for the majority of the time that will be spent on the road. The Bronco Sport features a large greenhouse for being such a small vehicle, and it boasts best-in-class first and second row headroom, which is great for when things get bouncy off-road. A feature that I especially like on the interior of the Bronco Sport is the rubberized feel on all of the turn dials. It really feels like they're rugged and dependable, and they fit the characteristic of the Bronco Sport well. Easy to clean cloth seats come standard, but you can outfit with leather in higher trims. The seat backs feature unique zippered pockets and molly straps to store your belongings tight for those off-road adventures. The cargo management system in the rear also helps keep your gear in place with dividers and shelves, which also double as a table for those camp nights. Lift up the rear seat to find underseat storage in the Badlands trim. And for those times you need to maximize storage, the second row folds flat to increase capacity to a total of 65.2 cubic feet behind the first row. And make sure to make use of the carabiner tie-down cleats here in the rear to make sure your load of any size stays in place. And for when things might get a little bit messy, there's no worries because of this easy cleanable rubberized floor and cargo area. While the Bronco Sport is rugged and tough for the trail, it is not lacking in modern creature comforts. There is a standard 8-inch LCD touchscreen running SYNC 3 that features phone connectivity with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, as well as Waze capability and Amazon Alexa. The screen sits high in the dash, so it's in a great line of sight for when you're driving. And when equipped with navigation and you go off-road, the Bronco Sport will even leave breadcrumbs on the map that allow you to make your way back home. Underneath, you will find a wireless charging pad on higher trim models, as well as a USB and 12 volt port. Safety both on and off-road is a priority in the Bronco Sport. Ford Copilot 360 is standard across all of the trims. You get auto high beam headlights, bliss blind spot warnings, the lane keeping system, pre-collision assist with pedestrian detection, and a rear view camera that are all included. For even more protection and features, opt for Copilot 360 Assist Plus. This adds adaptive cruise control with stop and go and lane centering, evasive steering assist, and the Bronco Sport owners can also use Ford Pass Connect with their smartphone to connect to their vehicle. You can start from afar with remote start or schedule a time every morning. You can lock and unlock to allow someone else access, locate your vehicle, and check for maintenance intervals and even simple fuel levels. So now that we know all about the Bronco Sport, there's only one question left to ask. Who is this built for? Well, we know it's not for the hardcore off-roader, but it is for the weekend adventurer. One who wants to get to their destination off the beaten path, not necessarily have that path be their destination. One who I would imagine would shop here or getting the groceries here, or for those who bring their kids here, or kayaking here. In short, the Bronco Sport is for everyone who wants a dependable, rugged, go anywhere, get anything done vehicle with good gas mileage, off-road capability, and room for people and gear. But how much is all of this gonna cost? Well, check out the link in the description and browse our Bronco Sport inventory. Not only can we get you behind the wheel, we can help make it your own with hundreds of accessories to get you ready for whatever the road, on or off, lay ahead. Remember, we are driven by you. Please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe for more great Ford content, and thanks for watching.